Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. In our last episode, if you recall, I set up an experiment to determine the effective range of a full choke shotgun with various loads. Uh, and in that case, it seems like the maximum effective range is really only about 30 yards. Uh, beyond that, you know, birdshot loads just don't have the momentum to penetrate anything, and buckshot loads uh, have such a low pattern density that you can't hit anything. Um, so this time, what I wanted to do is take a no-choke shotgun and see how much the shorter barrel and lack of choke reduces our effective range. So I've got targets set up over there at 10, 20, and 30 yards, and we'll shoot them with the same shells we used in the previous episode and see what we can do. So once again, I'm starting with number eight birdshot. So just like with the full choke, number eight bird shot was effective at 10 yards, but no further. Now let's try number four shot. Okay, so the number four shot was effective out to 20 yards, but at 30 yards, the pattern density was very low, and the pellets that were hitting our test specimen were not going through. Uh, so. The effective range of number four shot is definitely reduced from at least 30 yards with the full choke to about 20 with the no choke. Now let's try number two shot. So as might be expected with the number two shot, the pattern density at 30 yards was very low, uh, but there were still some pellets hitting the target and they were going through unlike the number four. So in the case of the no-choke shotgun, using number two shot does appear to offer an increased effective range, whereas with the full choke shotgun, it really had no advantage over the number four. Anyway, now let's try number four buckshot. So with the number four buckshot, of course, the pellets that hit the test specimen are penetrating it, uh, but beyond about 20 yards, uh, they've spread out so much that we're not getting any hits on the target. Now let's try the triple lot buck. So again, with the triple lot buck, the pellets that were hitting the targets were penetrating, but there were so few pellets per load with the big triple lot uh, buckshot rounds that beyond 10 yards, we just weren't getting any hits on the targets. You know, the conventional wisdom seems to be that a short barreled shotgun like this loaded with buckshot is the ultimate home defense weapon. But based on what we've seen here, I'm inclined to disagree. Birdshot was passing our stated lethality test, penetration of a one-inch pine board, out to 30 yards, whereas buckshot was spreading out so much that you couldn't hit anything at 30 yards. And of course, either one is going to be equally effective at point-blank range. Uh, so, especially in a home defense situation where over-penetration would probably be undesirable, uh, if I were going to load this up for home defense, I'd load it with number two birdshot or number four if I was using the full choke shotgun. Anyway, thanks for watching the Idahoan Show.